have a bit of a problem. I have too many retro consoles. And if I want to play one of them, I got to take it out of the cabinet, hook it up to my TV, and then when I'm done playing with it, I got to take it all apart and put it back in the cabinet. And if I want to play a different one, same thing. If only there was some way for me to hook them all up, leave them connected, and that way I can just choose whatever console that I wanted to play. Now I know that switchers are a thing. You could just have all your consoles hook up to the switch, and then whenever one you want to play, you could just switch to that and you don't have to unplug or plug anything back in. My problem is I have a whole bunch of different types of retro consoles. Some of them output composite, some output component, some output RGB. How am I going to handle all those different signals? I don't have to worry much about RGB because I have this GSCART switch, which allows me to hook up eight different RGB consoles. And it even does auto switching, which is cool. So whatever console I turn on is the one that gets output. And what about composite and component? Let me just check out this G-Comp switch here. Holy cow, $200? Now that's kind of fake outrage because the G-SCART switch is expensive too. And I'm sure this one is just as high quality. But what if I don't want to spend $200 on a component switch? I remember Bob from RetroRGB talking about the Xtron Crosspoint. In fact, I actually have one. The Xtron Crosspoint is a really high quality professional video switcher. And it works with all different kinds of signals too. It works with composite, S video, component, and RGB, although RGB is a little bit of an asterisk because you need an attenuation resistor and we won't get into that. But for composite, S video, and component, it allows pass through of the signal. Mine even has 16 inputs and eight outputs, which means I can connect 16 different consoles and output them to eight different outputs, which means I can have different TVs or different upscalers to handle any of those signals. The only problem with the Xtron Crosspoint is that it's a manual switch. Anytime I want to use one of those consoles, I have to choose the right input and the right output to get it to work. Some of you might be fine with that, but I think we can do a little bit better. I did a little bit of Googling and I found this Xtron SCART adapter project by Ratboy. It's broken out into three different parts, an Xtron input adapter, an Xtron output adapter, and the SCART auto switcher. Let's check out the SCART auto switcher. Looks like the auto switcher PCB that he designed allows you to take a bunch of inputs, pass them into a microcontroller, and then depending on which one of those is active, send a serial command to the Xtron to select that one. Now let's go back and check out the input adapter. Wow, look at that. Now it looks like this input adapter actually uses the SCART switch pin as the means to detect if the signal is active. Anytime one of the RGB consoles is active, it should have five to 12 volts on that switch pin, which is what he sends over to that auto switching board to use to detect that input. Now this is a really cool project but it only works with RGB consoles. I wonder if there's a way for me to use his project and adapt it for use with composite, component, and S-video consoles. In the next video in this short series, I'll come up with a plan to adapt this idea to use with composite, component, and S-video. I'll see you in the next video.